Hello, Barak here, and today I'm going to give you a short video on how do you mod Dark Souls or to die for PC. And I don't mean the cheating mods, I mean the fun, happy-go-lucky texture mods, UI mods, things like that, just to improve your game experience. Now, the hardest thing about modding Dark Souls for me was installing the S-Fix by Durante, which if you have not downloaded that and installed it, do it, because pretty much the way I'm going to tell you is reliant on it. And thank you very much, Durante. Wonderful mod, and I can't believe they didn't do this on them on their own. But yes, once you've fixed DS, or once you've installed DS Fix, or what have you, uh, by Durante, or I forget what it's called, but yes, you see DS Fix, I see DS Fix. Anyway, make sure you do this first. Before you do anything else, start downloading anything, make sure you go into DS Fix, the I and I, or just open it with Notepad, WordPad, I don't care what you open it as, just make sure you open it. Go to Texture Override Options. This right here enables Texture Override. This number right here will be a zero default. You want it to be a one. If it's at zero, no matter how much you do everything else I tell you in this video, it will not work. Make sure that's a one. If you, I guess I can just show you the other things I use this. Basically, if you know anything about computing or video gaming on a computer, you can figure out most of this stuff by yourself. Excuse me. The only things that you make sure you do not ever mess with, these, you never do something if the mod you create or tells you not to do it. The other things I would, I would advise is skip the intro logos, saves time, and disable the, uh, and, and the, uh, Oh, darn it all. Disable cursor. There you go. Yeah, anyway, once you made sure you've done that, you go to the whatever mods you want. Pick one out of Nexus mods. Log into your account. I don't care. You're going to be spending a lot of time here if you ever get into modding. Trust me, I know all about that. I spent more time modding my games usually than playing them. But for this purpose of this video, I'm going to download and show you how to install the Armor of Disgrace. The reason being, it doesn't tell you how to install it, and I'm going to guess if you are having trouble installing a mod, they don't tell you how to install it. For every mod I've ever installed with Dark Souls, they all do the same way. First, obviously, you need to do download the darn thing. So pick the closest server to you. In my case, it would be Washington, D.C. Save file. I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it again. You hit save file. Okay. Go to wherever the heck your, your mod is. For us Firefox users, you can just do this, go to the last one. Anyway, yeah, go to my Armor of Disgrace here. I don't, yeah. And you're going to see a bunch of PNGs, or S or DDSs, I believe, files. Either one works. Normally, they're, from in my experience, my limited experience so far, they're usually .png. Now, you're almost done, actually, if you can believe it. The hardest part from here is actually finding the, fi the correct file you need to put it in. To make it simple, most people out there, if you don't know anything about computers, it's probably going to be on your C drive. It's not for my C drive. My C drive is a solid state drive I use to boot up Windows and other very often played games. So mine's on, on the F drive. No matter where you put it, it's going to be in your Steam library wherever you installed it, C or F or wherever your hard drive is. So in your Steam library, you go to the Steam apps, common, and then go to Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. This is going to mean your data. And then this is where DS Fix comes in handy. You need it. DS Fix, Texture Override. Highlight all these. You can just highlight them and then copy if you're not in this thing. But if you actually extract it, you can just copy it. Or you can just do this and just save yourself time. Highlight them all. Drag them over. Now, the only reason I'm getting this is because I've already installed this mod on a previous take for a video, but I'm going to do it anyway. Now, if you do get this screen, particular one right here, it means either, one, you're replacing a mod for the thing you're trying to... For example, if I already had a mod of the uh, Knight Latrex armor, Armor of Favor, and I'm replacing it with this one, I'll get the same one because they're all named the same with Dark Souls modding. So, yeah. Or you're just trying to install the same thing, dummy. <laughs> But yes, move and replace, and it's actually done. So I'm going to show you, just to show you that this is actually working. So I'll be back in just a second. So, yeah, here we are. And yes, I have a custom 
opening, it doesn't really matter. You can <laughs> There's a ton of things you can mod here, but yes. Just to show you that it's actually working, and I'm not just blowing smoke and telling you something that's erroneous, unless this mod just plain does not work, I've ran into one. Actually, no, I haven't. Yeah, this is what Latrec wears, and it's actually more not, you know, golden. Look at me, look at me. And yes, my demon great machete, how clean it is. And my HUD, I forgot I did my HUD. <laughs> Oh, but yes. I hope this helped you with uh, learning how to mod Dark Souls. Again, if you actually need help on the... Uh, actually, I might as well just show you this just for the hell of it. Um, I'll be right back. Alright. Yes, you can do some crazy-ass things with modding. For instance, you ever have that moment where everything seems out to kill you from the get-go and you don't have to do a darn thing to piss them off? Yeah... Why are there three of them? Oh, oh my dear sweet lord. Oh god. Yeah, this is the aggressive mod. This is slightly more difficult to install, but let me tell you guys, this mod just kicks so much butt. But it is not for the beginners. <laughs> oh my. Oh my word. Yes. I'm going to die very shortly if that elevator does not come up here. Come on. Good. Go down. Yes. This mod will make you cry. In a good way. You think you know where everything is in the world? You don't know crap. Not with this thing on. Oh no, sir. God help you if you get an invasion, I'll tell you that now. Of course, I'm lucky that th those things were far enough away when that elevator got up there, because if that thing had actually, you know, been up there at the same time, they would have just got right on the elevator with me. I know this from personal experience. But yes, God help you if you get an invasion while using this mod, if you haven't already killed everything. Because that invader will have a field day with you. <laughs> But yes, I'm just showing you what a modded Dark Souls is capable of. You can make this game as difficult and insane as you want it, while looking very pretty. Oh shit, you're still alive. Oh mother of god, that one learned how to use the elevator. <laughs> but yes, there shouldn't... Hopefully... Okay, good. That thing is still chasing me, for the record. As soon as that elevator comes down, it will get back on it. There's only one, There's only one way to get rid of these things. And unfortunately, it's not far enough away. As soon as I sit down at a bonfire, it will just come right... They will all just respawn and start walking toward me again. So, yes. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you have questions on how to mod your Dark Souls, I'll do my best to answer. I'm not a know-it-all. I do know quite a bit. Actually, while I'm here, I might as well just show you the helm as well. That's for the people wondering. Yep. It's a pretty nice looking set, and I have to say, I'll probably keep it like that. I don't, I don't prefer the bright green, or bright green, the bright yellow. If it's bright green, I'd love it. But yeah, anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you all later. Bye everyone, and good luck out there if you use this mod. <laughs>